the Lord Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus on this video. You know, I dropped my phone like three times today while I'm working at different times, which is very unlike me. It doesn't happen. So I figure, and this is after that uh, attack that I come under. So I figure it's probably some type of clumsy demon, some type of thing that's like clumsy, awkward in your own skin type thing. Uh, so I'm going to come against that in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I, I ask you to uh, to forgive me of all my sins, those I'm aware of, those I'm unaware of. Uh, and in the name of Jesus, I forgive everybody living or dead who's ever dominated or controlled me. I forgive witches, warlocks, abusers, accusers, uh, acquaintances, friends, relatives, anyone I've ever slept with or lusted after, and their ancestors all the way back to Adam and Eve. Father God, I also forgive politicians. I forgive basically everybody that I could ever hold aught against. Lord, and I don't want to shortchange forgiveness. Uh, however, God, I really want to move to get these things out, Lord. First off, I want to come against any demon that comes in through touch, Father God. Any demon that comes in through uh, microbes on my skin, touching somebody else's skin in Jesus' name. Any energy transfer in Jesus Christ, my name, the Lord Jesus Christ, rebuke you. Uh, I ask you, Father God, to burn uh, burn all those tears. Father God, you say that wheat grows with the tears in Jesus' name. Well, let's have a Holy Ghost fire that burns all the tears in Jesus Christ, my name. Let's burn all the tears of the enemy so it's just nothing but wheat. Nothing but that good wheat in Jesus' name. Father God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for uh, thank you for the dedication to uh, want to do this video, Lord Jesus. Thank you for uh, the willingness to put you first, to uh, make way for you, God, to acknowledge you and uh, reunite, Father God, reunite with you, Lord. I love you so much. All right, so I also come against uh, any demon of lethargy or laziness or not feeling uh, like you have full control of your body. In Jesus Christ, my name, any demon that wants to come into my body or into the listener's body, Father God, and just kind of like make little rearrangements and subtle changes in the body, connecting a tendon over here and like mismatching and cross wiring and all that crap in Jesus' name. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Uh, Father God, I ask you to do a Holy Ghost acupuncture. Father God, I pray that you send angels now in the spirit. Uh, with devices, angelic devices, Father God, to just hit all these pressure points and meridians, Lord, and just release all the crap and the works of the devil. Now, in Jesus' name, you say in your word that we are to destroy the works of Satan, Father God. So Satan has been working in my body and in the listener's body, Father God, and I ask you, Lord, uh, to destroy it. I ask you to send angels to destroy it. Lord, and I ask you to do it by uh, a, a relief of the pressure, Father God, a relief of the pressure and a... Uh, direct connection to the muscle fibers and the tendons and all that stuff the way it was intended to be connected no more inversion or perversion of the body processes in jesus christ my name the lord jesus christ rebuke you father god i uh, pray that uh we put or you put father god uh, uh more fluid like fluid in a healthy way in these areas god and the central nervous system, Lord, the way the devil wants to pinch nerves or block off areas of the body, the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Any demon that's manifesting in the body right now too, Father God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you bind it up. I pray that you stun it. I pray that you send angels to stun it and immobilize the thing in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask you to drag uh, that demon out and any demons or spirits or anything working in tandem with it, Father God, even if it's like some type of nanotech, bot, whatever the crap is, it doesn't matter, it's got to go. We break its power in Jesus Christ, my name. Anything that draws uh, power from the breath of life through cell meiosis or mitosis in Jesus' name, the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Father God, anything that uh, that would uh, possess, so say, we, say I get delivered, Lord, or say the listener gets delivered, Father God, and then say there's maybe like a parasite or a microbe in the body, Lord, and that demon wants to use a legal right of like possessing that microbe or parasite in Jesus Christ my name I'll bind that ability of the enemy to do that in Jesus Christ my name Father God all these devils gotta go and if there's a demon like octopus or squid or anything like that I know it sounds a little funny but it's just the way it is if there's a demon like octopus or squid see there's disembodied spirits of the animal kingdom so I don't know exactly how it works but I know it's a thing because I come against them and then they go away and the bondage dissipates so what I think happens is these, these devils and these witches and these warlocks, what they do is when they sacrifice animals or they sacrifice things, that spirit that they that they killed, a lot of times when they kill them, 
they like torture them and, and they do it and put the animal or the sacrifice in a state of confusion they like confuse it so it's important for the sacrifice to be confused at the point of death anyways so any demon uh, that convinced a person to uh, cut something and offer its blood to a demon father God all that power the life that's in the blood of that creature the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you father God I ask you Lord uh, you said that I hold the power of life and death in my tongue so I speak death to the power of those curses father God and I speak life to uh, the life that's in my blood in Jesus Christ my name and I ask you father God to separate my blood from any blood of any sacrifices in Jesus name and that goes for any uh, consumption of food offered to idols in Jesus Christ my name the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you this body is a temple of the Holy Spirit so any food that goes into this body is offered up to God the Most High so in Jesus Christ my name Lord, the blood that was shed uh, for the remission of the sins of all mankind uh, when you hung on the cross at Calvary, Father God, a sinless, spotless lamb, a perfect offering, uh, atones for all those sins and all those defilements in Jesus Christ, my name. So that sin of eating food offered to idols, knowingly or unknowingly, Father God, I ask you to remit those sins. Father, so the devil has nothing to hold on to or any type of... Uh, ungodly thing or metal or anything like that that the devil would somehow use electronic waves or something like that to mess with our body uh any type of uh gmo anything that's ungodly lord jesus anything that the devil uses as a means to gain access or gain uh territory in this body father god number one i don't think it's possible i think it's all mind games because uh, this body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. I don't think you're just going to give your property away, Lord. This this body is, is your property, Father God. So anytime any defilement or, or any type of curses come in, Lord, it's literally you letting it happen so that you can defeat the enemy, Father God. So, Father God, today I willingly offer this body to you. Lord, I offer this body to you to be like a crime scene, be like an evidence scene, Father God. And let's get some evidence on these devils and demons in Jesus' name. And let's drag them out of this body and bring them to judgment. Let's bring them to judgment in chains and shackles, Father God, in jumpsuits, separated from each other, bound from talking or communicating with each other. And Jesus Christ, by the name, and line them up and have them stand before you in the courts of heaven, one by one by one, Father God. And, and uh, the same way they believe as above, so below, Father God. I also think that there's some truth to that. So, Father God, how they have down here... Uh, that we can have a speedy trial father god give these demons a speedy trial and let's just send them off to where, wherever you want want them to go right away father god and i bind the enemy's ability to argue resist project itself lie and adapt to these prayers in jesus christ my name the lord jesus christ rebuke you father god i also uh ask you to similar to how we enabled the uh ability to have a speedy trial father god i also ask you to take into consideration the rico act so in this realm lord uh if if a group of people commit a crime but only one person gets caught the whole group uh can get punished for it equally father god so i pray that every demon every demon working in tandem with these devils or demons or spirits or uh any type of ungodly attack physiologically on the body by any witch or warlock or human spirit or anything, Father God. Lord, I ask you to enable the RICO Act, Father God, and do an ambush, SWAT team type sting operation on these demons and spirits right now, Father God. I pray, Lord, that you knock on a witch's door right now. I pray that you knock on a witch's or warlock's door, Father God. And I pray, Lord, that they know it's because of this prayer, that they know it's because of it, Father God. And I pray that you drag them uh, to the courts of heaven, Father God, and try them. Give them a speedy trial, Father God. And also, I ask you, Father God, when we're trying all these devils and demons, Lord Jesus, uh, also let's enable the conspiracy, Father God. So a lot of times these devils and demons, they're conspiring to kill. They're conspiring to take everything. They're conspiring to uh, take my inheritance in the kingdom. They're conspiring to take my soul, Father God. Even though they didn't win, Father God, they're conspiring to do it. So let's treat it like they did it. Let's treat it like... Uh, Let's, let's try them for their intentions, Father God. I know we can't do like thought crime or something like that. And I know it's important to have an actual crime having been committed, Father God. It says in your word, touch not my anointed and do my prophets 
no harm, Lord. They wanted to do me harm. In Jesus Christ, my name, they should pay. Father God, let's make them pay. Let's cut them. Let's slash them. Let's bind them. Everything that, that they wanted from me, Father God, let them fall on their own pits. In Jesus Christ, my name. Let them be caught uh, during their mischief. Let them be caught while they're in the act of doing these ungodly trespasses on your children. In Jesus Christ, my name. So, Father God, again, I come against any demon or devil physiologically in the body manifesting or not manifesting that is attempting to hinder block obstruct frustrate uh dominate take over the will of the listener or myself in any way shape or form father god in jesus christ my name i catch fire to them all now lord any altars or altar attendants that are uh giving power to these devils or demons or portals being opened in the body outside the body or any other type of means or fashion these devils or demons uh, are able to move through either interdimensionally or only in this realm. In Jesus Christ, my name, Father God, I break the power of all those things, Father God. I burn up the altars in the Spirit. I bind the altar workers and altar attendants in the Spirit. In Jesus Christ, my name, if it's a witch or warlock, Father God, I burn their hair in the Spirit. Father God, I ask you to take a flamethrower to their face in Jesus' name. And Father God, I pray that in the Spirit they manifest with bandages on their face in Jesus Christ, my name, to be identified as somebody who has uh, been defeated by the Lord Jesus Christ and his mighty holy warring angels in Jesus name and father God I ask you Lord to uh, help us all Lord Jesus just help us help us please we want to spend more time with you we want to love you more we want to dedicate more of our time to you father God and these demons uh, they want to steal from you through us father God so I bind the enemy's ability to steal from you through us or through me and Jesus Christ my name I bind the enemy's ability to attack you through me to use me to attack you the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you instead father God I use this wonderful opportunity and these plots and plans of the enemy to use these attacks to attack their daddy the devil in Jesus Christ my name I use the demons that the devil sent to attack me I use those demons to attack the devil Father God, I ask you to whip these devils with hard cords and send them back to attack the devil in Jesus Christ's name. I pray that each one of these devils and demons, Father God, has an odd uh, Holy Ghost compulsion, uh, 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 an intense urge to attack the devil and attack uh, their cohorts and their uh, demonic siblings in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Father God, I pray that they forget who they are. They forget their ranks, Father God. I, they, they forget who's in charge. I send confusion into the enemy's camp, the likes of which... Uh, they would have never thought possible in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Father God, I speak uh, spiritual amnesia over them. I pray that a cloud of forgetfulness settles down around these devils in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I pray, Lord Jesus, that there is a uh, fog of war around them, Father God, where they can't see uh, any bit in front of their face, Father God. It would be equivalent to them fighting in a dark room, Father God. I take away these demons' abilities to see in the dark or to see uh, anything at all in Jesus Christ's mighty name, Father God. And I... Father God, I ask you to, number one, get them all out of my body and out of the listener's body, Father God, and then also um, make them like feral attack demons in Jesus' name and let them fairly and viciously attack each other, Father God. Let them fairly and viciously attack each other. Let them have a taste for blood of their own uh, demonic brothers and sisters in Jesus' name and let them uh, spiritually cannibalize each other in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And again, Father God, let them all conspire to go attack the devil. Let them all conspire to go attack the devil in Jesus' name. And the reason I, I know that that's true and that's going to happen is because, Father God, the devil copies you. The devil copies you. So if the devil is sending those types of attacks to attack you, then I have truly 100% believe that it is because the devil only knows to do that because you do that to the devil. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask you, Father God, to have every single demon that you've ever had at your footstool, in Jesus Christ, in my name, that you've ever sent to the prisons and dry places or that you've ever had awaiting uh, judgment uh, to, the, to the fires and pits of hell, in Jesus' name, any demon, I'm asking you, Lord, this is up to you because you have power over it all, if you want. I would really appreciate it, Lord. You said that at, in the end, we will judge angels, Father God. If you just let me kind of get my feet wet, Lord, and I'm asking you to send every single demon that you've ever uh, prejudged before the day of judgment, Father God, which is a lot because I've sent you a bunch, 
Lord Jesus. Have them all march and fight against the devil now in Jesus Christ by name. Father God, all those abilities of astral projection, Father God, or all those other demonic abilities, Father God, I pray that they are all unloosed against the devil now in a type of spiritual cannibalism, Father God, where the devil is just overrun by his own spirits that he uh, trained and sent out against God's people in Jesus Christ by name. And I pray that they do not stop attacking. This is not like a little pinky slap attack. This is visual, vicious. Uh, they're trying to kill the devil now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And Father God, I pray that the devil is so overrun with so many problems in his kingdom, so many fires, so many things happening, Father God. He has no time to think about attacking a man of God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I praise you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for having uh, Holy Ghost spies in the kingdom of darkness now, Father God, that are viciously attacking the devil. I thank you, Lord Jesus, the same way the devil tries to put uh, somebody very close to a man of God, like right up on his right hand side. And, and similar to how Lord, the devil did that to you, got right up to your right hand side in Jesus Christ. Right. And I pray Lord Jesus, that the devil, that we plant enemies of the devils right next to him in Jesus name, and he stabs them right now. I pray that the devil feels that betrayal. Father God, it says in your word, do unto others. It's the golden rule. So Father God, all that the devil has done to you and your people, Father God, I pray that it's all done to the devil in Jesus Christ. By the name, I pray that the devil uh, weeps and cries, Father God. It says in your word that there is a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth, Lord. And the devil wants to have us drink its judgment. But no, I rebuke uh, the offsetting of the devil's judgment onto humanity in Jesus' name. And I ask you, Lord, to force feed or force drink the devil's cup of judgment down its throat right now in Jesus Christ's mighty name and have the devil uh, live in a constant state of weeping and gnashing of teeth now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Praise you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Father. I thank you for doing it. I thank you, Father, F Father God, for sending uh, even more of the uh, devil's own uh, attack armies against itself in Jesus' name. I thank you for having uh, type of shadow spirits where it does say say there's one spirit but there's like 58 shadows of that spirit father god where it can't tell what's what in jesus christ my name the devil is being completely overrun and father god while that's happening lord i pray lord jesus that the heavens rejoice i pray that they rejoice and then also use the devil as target practice with arrows from heaven from the third heaven with super uh high tech angelic technology father god that we are just firing arrows on the devil right now in jesus christ my name Lord Jesus. Oh, a devil just manifested in my cat. Praise you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for, for hunting the devil. I thank you for uh, training me and equipping me, Father God, and, and giving me the authority and the keys, basically, to heaven and hell, Lord. I don't want, you know, I don't want anything to do with hell other than uh, I want to shut the doors to it with everybody that belongs in there, in Jesus' name, uh, and seal it off until the day of judgment and then after judgment, in Jesus' name. And Father God, anybody... Lord, that needs to be rescued, Lord, that is just like, that thinks hell is a good thing, that thinks uh, sat Satanism or any other type of devil worship is a good thing, Father God. I pray that you break the power of those strong delusions off their mind in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord Jesus, that, that every child that was born today, whatever day somebody listens to this video, if it's, if it's some teenager's birthday in Jesus' name, and that teenager is being seduced into uh, Satanism, whether knowingly or unknowingly, Father God, I pray that you break the strong delusion off their mind and assign angels to go and visit them right now in Jesus' name. You gave me a day of visitation. You're not a respecter of persons, Father God, so I speak a day of visitation on these teenagers, Father God, these teenagers that are your children, your kids, not the devil's kids. If they're the devil's kids, let them go. Let them go bye-bye in Jesus' name. But if they're your kids, in Jesus' name, Father God, I ask you to give them a day